my man Jeezy. Big Snow is here. What up, Jeezy? What Snow up, man. Joe? You already know what it is, baby. Let me sign this wall. Yeah. B I G S N O. There it is. Snow. Big Snow. Big Snow is in the building. What up, though? What up, though? Oh, my man. God. <laughs> What's up, baby? What's up, bro? How are you? Cool. Absolutely. What's up? Yes, sir. Mr. Epic Tunes. Epic Tunes. We good, here. Baby? We here. Jeezy's here. What's the word? Rap City 21. Do you remember your first time being on Rap City? Yeah. Probably had some residue in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know? What do you Dirty remember money. about it? I just remember wanting to get on the couch. You know what I mean? Like, you, you coming from the hood, like, your biggest... You know, your biggest dream is to sit on that Rap City couch and um and and let the world hear your story, you know what I'm saying? That was a big thing. I remember the flight to New York and everything, you know what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I wanna brought my one hundred pair of red monkey jeans. <laughs> you know wow. I mean? That was your thing. Like, that was my thing. <laughs> and, you know. And and um I just brought the hood with me. You know, and I couldn't wait to get back to the hood so I could, so they could tell me I was on TV. Hey, man. Red yeah. monkey jeans, though. What you know about it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did that energy feel like, bro? I mean, it felt electric, man. You know, I mean, you know, the only time we get on TV back then is when we commit a crime. <laughs> that was a big one. And it was almost like, the, you know, it was almost like you made it. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, you, it was only two, three platforms, you right. know, you can get on. It was the radio, then, like, Rap City. I'm gonna be real though, cause I was just like, I hope they don't ask me to freestyle, cause I'm. <laughs> you feel me? Like <laughs> they didn't ask I, you to freestyle. I just left the trap. I ain't got nothing. You know what I mean? lucky like, I wasn't there. It right, would have happened. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you got to keep in mind too, like cause you know, I wasn't really like, you know, drum no. Like I wasn't really like a rapper. Like, mm -hmm. I wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? I was more so like looking at that for my transition out of the streets, and it was like I just knew it was a way because I, I loved the music. Um, I love what it stood for, and I, I felt like it was something I could do. So to make it there, you know what I mean? Like, that was my first indication that I was, you know, I was going to be all right. It was popping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Yeah. How do you feel about today's uh, hip-hop? What, what do you uh, think about it? I mean, you take cats like Drum and myself that really open up the door. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it. I just, and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to sound too, um, I don't want to sound like too seasoned. I just, I, I love what they're doing. I love how they cut the middleman out. I love that they're entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just, you know, as as a big homie, I just want them to survive it. Because mm. I be mm -hmm. feeling like, you know, you do all that to get out the hood and, and then you, you know, you get out here and somebody takes your life. Uh, you get out here and, and you know, you, you, you end up back in prison. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it doesn't make sense to right. me. Because for me, it was all about getting out of those circumstances and getting into this. So I just want, I wish some longevity. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? Because they already ahead of the game. You take like LeBron and you look at where he at. You got to see how Jordan looking at that. Jordan never got in the movies and, you know, having his own uh, sports agency. You right. Know, you know, he never done that. So these these are new uh, era entrepreneurs. So I just want to see them have it all. You know, I don't want to just see them have rap, just rap success, because I feel like that's what rap is. It's about the coach. It's about making it against the odds, and I want mm. you to continue to do that. Mm. So that's the only thing for me. Anybody stick out musically that you like, oh, that dude? I mean, I love Dirk. You know what I mean? Dirk, like, my little bro. Mm. I, I, he was I influential in his Yeah, too. yeah, you know, mm. we talked a lot. You know, we talked about him getting out of his deal, going mm -hmm. independent. I was just like, bro, like, one thing about it, like, you make good music, and you know what you're doing, so sometimes you're counterpart might not understand that because you're too close to it, you know what I mean? Right. Which was like when I mentored YG and, you know, helped him with, well, he was always going to be a star, but I just kind of gave him some insight.